how you doing you guys i hope everything is great everything is amazing your life is great today we are talking how to get a 35 millimeter lens for 80 bucks stay tuned welcome to another video you guys i hope everything is great everything is awesome sauce yes you read the right you heard it right this lens was $80 less than $80 it was $79.99 yeah let's just talk about it so it came in this box right here the brand of the lens is Jung Jung New this spell Jung New it is not a recognized lens by Adobe so that's just the only letdown but it doesn't mean that it's not a good lens this 35 millimeter lens it's an f.2 so you are able to get that nice bokeh and it's 80 bucks usually this will run you down for like for canon these are like 600 dollars f2 you're still gonna get that nice blurry background that everybody loves for 80 bucks since this lens is supposedly good at night on dark scenes you know i went to Funland, super fun land and I tested this I did not use anything but this lens for these videos and this is the result that you get Obviously in every dark scene, if it's super dark, your lens is gonna have a little trouble autofocusing. So you just use that manual focus, you know, that's what you're trained for. You can obviously switch it between a manual and an auto. Depending on the scene, you're gonna wanna use manual because your eye is better than the camera software. But anyways, since the light the light in the museum was currently changing and on the light on the streets it was currently changing I just kept it on manual in very rare scenes I did keep it on auto just to test it and it was actually amazing when we went inside I just tried it on auto it focused on what I wanted to focus it stayed on it even if I moved a little bit this is I took some pictures of the food that we're eating and it was great the colors of it it was great and it communicates very good with the camera and yeah it just comes in this little nice compact body this is can a canon lens this is a yungi Du. but yeah it's not much of a difference and since my camera is a crop sensor this this led 35 ends up being a 56 millimeters anyways i do recommend this lens but yeah, if you guys actually enjoyed and thought that the production value of those clips that you just saw in the pictures were great, go ahead and cut yourself one of this. F1.4 and 1.2 aren't always gonna cut it because who has that type of money? If you, even if you're just starting out or you're just a hobbyist, yeah, you can spend your money starting right away, but when you're starting right away, you're not gonna wanna spend that type of money. Unless you're a baller, you know, and in that case, just make a donation to this so I can make more cool reviews. 7200, I want that. 2470, I want that. But I don't have that type of money to be spending yet. 
yeah, maybe I'll rent it. But yeah, since I'm starting to shoot, to shoot like some weddings and some events and some stuff, you know, yeah, I do shoot weddings and events and portraits. If you guys want, just shoot me a text. We could go create some nice fire, some cool pictures. This is my personal Instagram and this is my business. So just go check them out. Maybe drop a like, drop a follow. I might follow back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Thank you for watching. See you later. See you on another video. Maybe ring that bell so that you know when I upload my next video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. The link to the lens is down below. Down below. Go cop it. It's $80. Go test it. Let me know what you think if you buy it. And uh, let me know if this was helpful for you acquiring a new piece of glass. Alright, have a great day. Peace! I totally missed. Okay, bye. <laughs>